so what we need to do here we uh, we need to have some uh, some kind of flash messages for the user so let's go to npm.js.com and from here let's search for the flash and here you can find many but i like this one Just copy this and run this command. Okay, it's done. Now let's read something about this. It will display images like this. Ah, uh, sorry, messages like this. You can check the live demo also, the documentation also. But here I will just use it. I'll copy these two and inside your app.js. Here I will have to use it like this. So let's remove this from here and paste it here. Let's look great. Okay, save this and we will need one thing more here we will need this we can uh, also use this and by default it's bottom right i think but we have to use this one so let's copy and inside of add that view we can just put every view so let's put here for some reason it's giving me error so if i do like this it works fine uh, and we can show the images like this it contain all kind of images i think so we will need this error also and this success so let's copy this and close this don't need it and category here we can display the message and it will say uh, we don't need the title remove it category stored Okay, that's fine. We can give it a time also. So I will give it a 5000. We check time. Yeah. Uh, duration in uh, milliseconds. So it should be like this. Okay. So this is fine. Now uh, we can also copy this and in the default instead of this alert we can put it here and give it a message of error type error and here we will type like some error occurred let's try again okay so let's come back here load and I will do uh, this time I'll write something like um, weather and let's choose this image save okay this is coming there but okay what we can do we can just call this to hide the model before displaying the image so this dot right model now let's test again some category
okay this is fine but i want this to be on right top so how can we do that inside our app dot view its position is right bottom so let's type right top we can now test again New test and choose this image okay this look great and it will be like this okay so inspect element back and now the time to display our categories so what we can do we can just close these things and also the HTTP service and here we can bring all the categories so category page net and by default it could uh, give us 15 results if we don't pass anything here so return response of JSON okay and just we need to return this thing in JSON format that's it now we have to make a method for this also inside our category service so export function and we will type something like load categories by time http it will be uh, this time it will be simple http request dot get and categories i'm sure about this route let's test this Okay, so here we need to make a method load categories and it will be a function and we can use a try case also here and constant response go to Category service dot load categories and this dot is uh, this uh, here we need to make that array so we can call it categories and it will be an array so this dot Categories, not category, categories equal to response dot 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 categories dot data. Not this, okay. And here we need to display. Uh, here we need to display also this message. It will be error type and again some error good message okay this is fine now how can we call this we can use a mounted hook and we can Call it like test dot categories. Okay, now let's also we need to console this dot categories. And also let me show you 
forward this response container. Okay, so we have some error. Now yeah, we need to put a bit here. Okay. Uh, we have the error, but let's see what's coming here. Yeah, you see uh, inside response, we have a data and then data and then. Okay, so we just need to do this thing. Okay? And this will be fine. And this thing we'll use later, like current page from last page and last page URL for our uh, pagination here, like load more. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, display these inside here. Now let's use V4 and we can get one category and also the index and categories and we can run the key here and let's get the index. Okay, so this is fine but now uh, let's just replace this thing by real data. So okay, take a dot ID. Let's copy this. Category dot n. Category dot image. You will have to replace this by a real image, but for now let's display this. Go back here, reload. And yeah, the data is coming perfect. So now, okay, so now what we need to do to replace this by a real image. So let's put image here. And we need to find this. Now, from the store state so we remove this and we can put this okay store dot state dot server pop and storage and then we need to category dot image let's test this we can also find this here Now we have some error. Store is not defined. Uh, we have already created the store here and we exported it. Export default and insert of app. Okay, so we have to use that also. And we can get it from here. And here we need to pass this. Let's reload. Okay, we have server part of undefined. Okay, what is the variable name? It's server part. And here you have right here. Okay, it should be state not set state. Okay, let's reload again. 
and then hopefully yeah now we need to give it a class like uh, uh, let's uh, give it a class of Booster plus. Oh, this is not fine. So let's give it a plus of table image and image of table image with okay, pixel is fine. Okay, so let's copy this. Copy this and inside of after CSS, we can put this, click, reload. Now, oh, okay, so category, we need to give it a class. Spilling is good, yes. Okay, this is fine. Now, once uh, we are adding a new category, we have to also push that category here. Uh, instead of loading uh, the data again from the database, so what we can do. Uh, we are getting the category here instead of response. So this uh, okay. Let's start categories dot unshipped and we just response with data. Now let's test this. Okay, so choose an image and this time I will choose this. Testing. Okay, this is fine. But uh, we have to load this thing, but we need to sort it. So here we can. I see you part of Y and create it at descending the load. Okay, this is fine. And also this look weird so we can either remove it. Uh, how can we do this? We can just display uh, number here, and here instead of ID, we can just display index plus one. Does it start from zero? Okay, this looks good. Okay, so uh, in our grid, we are creating data and we are also reading the data. So now delete and uh, update the data. We will do in the next tutorials. Thank you.